Leaders in Carmel say classes could begin as scheduled next week at the high school. This is our first glimpse at the plan after an explosion did significant damage, uh, damage to the high school. Joe Melillo is in Carmel with an update from the leaders. Joe? Hey, Scott, good morning to you. Superintendent Mike Bearsfield says that he is optimistic that the school will open and be functional, functioning on January 8th when kids are scheduled to head back to school. But he also said that there is a lot more to accomplish from that damage of that explosion uh, still to come. Two people were hurt in that explosion on Wednesday on the second floor of the building with the gymnasium and the swimming pool in it. Indiana Department of Homeland Security says the gas leak during the routine maintenance on two boilers led to the explosion. Two people were injured and are recovering. Actually, the superintendent says those two people are in the hospital and are improvement, improving. But he is also saying this is what he had to say about the current shape of the school in a statement sent out to the community. We have made several positive steps forward in getting the Carmel High School campus ready for occupancy. Uh, we are able to restore and he the heat and power to most of the building with the exception of the damaged area of the field house. Significant work has been completed to cover the exposed areas of the roof and temporarily heat will be provided to uh, avoid further weather damage such as rain, freezing pipes, etc. Crews have made the progress cleaning up debris, rewiring our alarms, sprinklers, and other required safety systems. Carmel High School campus right now is closed and will remain closed as a safety precaution. Actually, when we were driving around, we saw uh, cones laid out. It won't let us go any further, so they are doing that to make sure that people stay safe. And again, in that statement, he says students should expect and he is optimistic that this will open January 8th, but to be ready in case it doesn't. And we'll bring you those updates on Wish TV and WishTV.com. Back to you guys. Of course, we'll still be following this, certainly. Joe, thank you.